Uh, okay, this video might get me killed, but I have to say this before I start. All right, so this video is going to go against the grain here a little bit, but let me start off by saying, no, I'm not a Call of Duty fanboy. No, I wasn't set by Activision as some sort of Terminator to change your guys' minds about the trailer. No, I don't consider myself a fanboy of any game for that matter. I just like a fucking good game, and so should you. Lastly, you're right, internet. Infinite Warfare is a piece of hot garbage. I completely agree, but... Not for the reasons you guys might say. So recently, if you haven't heard, the reveal trailer of Call of Duty Infinite Warfare was released last week. And at the time of this video has generated a bonkers 1.6 million dislikes to a little over 300,000 likes. Like a, that's a dislike ratio of 5 to 1, right? I, I did math right, right? Anybody. And most of the criticism that the trailer has received is the fact that people feel Activision has not been listening to the community. And the desire for a game that's set in the past. A game that kind of revitalizes and refreshes the franchise going forward. Valid complaint, I say. However, did we really communicate that over the past two to three years, as people claim to say? Look, I'm not saying everyone wanted a futuristic warfare or a modern warfare, but I am saying that a majority of us didn't really give a shit, and we're part to blame for the fact that Activision would continue the trend of a futuristic setting because we promoted them. We supported their decisions for the past two or three years. Consider this. The two to three year period where people demanded for a Call of Duty set in the past has seen the release of Ghost, Advanced Warfare, and Black Ops 3. In all three releases, there has been a small group of people, yes, clamoring, saying that they wish Call of Duty would go to the past. However, all three reveal trailers received millions of views with overwhelming likes to dislikes. No, I want to point out that the number of dislikes did grow with every year, but so did the number of likes. On top of that, both Call of Duty Ghost and Advanced Warfare sold 3 to 4 million copies opening week. Jeez, Black Ops 3 just last year generated $550 million in 72 hours. That's three days. Again, was the math right on that? A lot of you might say, well, John, the season pass is $50, so it's almost like selling two games. Fair enough. Let's assume generously that every single person who bought Black Ops paid for the season pass within those 72 hours making the price of each game instead of 60, 110. That still gives a low ball estimate of five fucking million copies. Oh, Activision heard us. They listened crystal fucking clear to our demands. After all, Activision is a business whose unfortunate sole purpose is to make money. Can we really blame them for continuing the trend that we have been supporting countlessly with our credit cards, our cheddar, our lettuce, whatever the fuck else you put in a sandwich? But John, Battlefield listened to us. They gave us a shooter game set in the past. Eh, they didn't really listen to us. Consider this even further. Battlefield has always been second fiddle to Call of Duty. Not to everyone, alright? Don't fucking kill me in the comments. I'm just saying, in terms of sales numbers, Battlefield never actually reached up to Call of Duty. Battlefield already experimented with changing their franchise a bit with Battlefield Bad Company, Battlefield Hardline. So it just seems like the next evolutionary step for Battlefield to continue to tweak their product, which is why they set a game in the past, probably. I find it very hypocritical of us to bash Call of Duty and Activision for continuing the trend of a futuristic setting that we've been promoting, that we've been supporting. If we really felt the way we felt, why are we reacting when we could have been the opposite of reacting? Fuck, what is that? Is, is it proactive? Is that thing that you take your uh, pimples off your face? I don't think it's that. Anyway, a lot of people are probably going to say, John, I'm not a hypocrite. No, I'm not. I always wanted a Call of Duty set in the past. Oh, ho! Did you really? Would allow me to point out one of my favorite things about this whole situation. After all this bitching, after all this clamoring for a Call of Duty set in the past and a desire for it and a longing for a fresh restart of the franchise, people consider the remake of Modern Warfare to be the best thing. Are you fucking with me right now? The game that literally kicked off the era of Call of Duty that everyone is bitching Activision to stop doing. The game that in the very title indicates how much of the past the game is not even set in. A game that literally adds nothing new to the franchise and forces you to shell out $80 just to play. That's the Call of Duty that everyone is excited for the most. Huh? <laughs> I, I re guys, I really hope nobody kills me in the comments. At the end of the day, I agree. Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is pretty much a slap in the face of their fan base. But I don't even see it as the fact that they haven't been listening to us. Because I feel like you can still make a futuristic game rather well done. My problem with Call of Duty Infinite Warfare is its blatant laziness in, in a creation standpoint. You had three years to make this game. The whole purpose of this three publisher cycle and the three year cycle was to essentially make games that were going to be refreshing and more creative and more time to develop, which means more time to set on ideas and think about new, think about new concepts. 
So why is it that when I see this trailer, I see a Halo Pelican, a Covenant ship, advanced warfare character models. Ultimately, I feel like I've played this game before. And I shouldn't feel like that six months away from the release of it. Maybe there's more. Maybe there's more to the trailer that we're not going to know. We haven't even played the game. We won't know if it's good. Only time will tell. But all in all, Call of Duty Infinite Warfare combines all the things that I'm starting to hate about the video game industry. It's lazy creation system and its desire to sell remakes as a cash grab. Why are we excited for a remake? It's not just, I hate remakes. All they are is a cash grab. We've already experienced the story. It adds nothing new from a mechanic standpoint, storytelling standpoint. I don't know. That's just my thoughts. Don't, please, guys, I'm sorry. Don't kill me. I just needed to get this off my mind. It was really bugging me for a really long time. I'm done. My rant is over. Go continue doing whatever it was you were doing. <laughs> I'm out of here.